So this is to answer a viewer's question regarding how you would evenly space these four circles, which are different diameters. So we've got 25, the 5, the 10, and the 15 millimeters there, and have them evenly spaced. If we take this space in here, this will be even across here. There are a number of ways of doing this. One way is to take, say if these were on a straight line, we'll create a line, which will be a construction geometry. It's going through here. Now let's straighten this up with a horizontal constraint and we'll place all these points, the inner points of these circles, like so, onto that line, selecting them all. We use the point on object constraint, so select them all, put them all on there. And then we can actually place these at a distance, not by using the center points, because that won't be any good, because these are all different circumferences, but to use a circle. So we come in and add circles in here. And these will be all the same diameter, but I'm going to change these circles, each of these, to construction geometry. So those are now construction geometry. We're going to make them all equal. So I'm going to select them all, make them equal. And I could have put basically selected them all and added a diameter in there, which I'm going to just select one now and add the diameter. And this will be the placement diameter. So we're going to say 20 millimeters away. So that these are all going to be 20 millimeters away. The next thing I want to do is take the circles, each of them. So the one that's going to be shown, the one, the construction one, and use a tangent. So that makes them tangent. And we'll do the same with this one as well. And this circle, use tangency, and we just repeat going from the one we're going to show and the construction geometry. And this will create an even space in between them all. You can see that one hasn't actually worked because we need to pull this out. So pull our circle like so. And we'll do the same with these ones. So I'm just using tangency across there, making sure there's some gapping in here, otherwise the tangency will go inside and we get an evenly spaced number of circles going across there. And we'll make that line as well, construction. If I hit close now, you can see they are evenly spaced. Obviously this will work not just with a line, this will also work say with an arc. Now let's place an arc like so and bring this around here. And we've got tangency already against these. So I'm going to take all the center points, select them all just by clicking on that center point. Don't have to do these one at a time. We just select them all and then select the arc and the point on object constraint. Hit close. You see that arc runs along there and we just select this arc and make that construction. There we go. So they're all evenly spaced. Another way to do this is to use a line. Let's see, we're going this way this time. And we can place these circles on the line. So I'm going to take all the points of these circles and place them on that line with a point on object constraint. So those are on there now. And we can use either points or lines to place these at the correct distance. I'm going to bring this up and place this, anchor this down somewhere. So I'm going to anchor it onto there. And we can use the point and place a number of points on here. So we know this one's 25 millimeters, so we don't actually have to set the radius of these. We just place this inside these two points, connect up the sides to the points, point on object constraint, like so, and then set these two points some distance away. So for this one, we're going to go for a distance constraint of 25 millimeters. Therefore, our next circle, this one here, we can place a point here. You notice I'm using distance constraints to keep these away, because if we use horizontal or vertical, then it wouldn't work with this type of line. We add another point, so point in here using the point 
and we'll join the points to this circle. So making sure the circle is in between. There we go. This point on this circle, point on object, and also the same with this one, point on object, and we set the distance away between these two points. And this is another way of doing it. It's a bit more involved. There's more key presses, but it gives you the option of not bothering about the diameters in there. We can keep them to distances instead. And we'll just repeat with this one. So this one here, we'll do the same there. So that's another way of doing it. I prefer the tangency way, but you may prefer this way. I mean, it's totally up to you. So I hope that's answered the questions and I hope to see you again soon. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash mang0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you again soon.